I love you and I gladly lead you, you are shaken by a brutal world that is anything but good and friendly, more and more people are waking up to what is going on and now you need each other. It is always darkest just before dawn. A new good day is coming, when life is lived with love and with good intentions. That I love you and I will gladly guide you with my light. Sometimes you drain yourself of your own energy. Because you forget that you have to fill it up every day, you are like a cup, you are like the cup of love, the more you give, the more it is filled with love, but, you forget to love yourselves. And therefore the cup is not filled as it should be. And then you feel drained, you want to share. You want to spread light and love, but love yourself first. No, it is not sinful to love yourself. Unfortunately, several of you feel that way, loving yourself is without ego, you love yourself with everything that is you, and with all your good and also bad sides, when you choose to walk the path of love, the ego lets go of you, why is, loving oneself, without ego, love is plus, minus zero dot love is a neutral balance. There you are, please see an old fashioned thermometer in front of you, the energy of love is exactly on the zero stretch. It is neutral. It doesn't pick sides. It is, but if you are up far on plus, then the risk is that you love with your ego, and if you are way down in the minus area, the risk is that you live and devalue yourself instead when you do simple meditation, you realize that you are, in your simplest and absolute purest form and you don't need anything else, there you find the energy of true love. It is, it is simple, it is neutral, it accepts you as you are, also love your breaths and breathe in the chi that swirls around you constantly. So you get even more vital energy, pure love is not complicated. It is, often you find your joy when you allow yourself to be at peace, you people often live complicated lives. With so many musts. Often you people live through the projection you get via other people or society. I call it because you live according to other people's judgments of you, you learn to adapt to the assessments you receive from other people and society sometimes you get so good at adapting that you forget the simplest of things. That you are loved and that you can find all your love and joy within you, you are loved and you are also completely unique, have faith in your heart and believe in your dreams.